We got some new beer from Hop City Brewing Company today, or at least it's new to me. It's a box style. It's going to be a good time. I have had this twice before this review, but hey, sometimes I get a little too excited and drink the can that I was meaning to review. Let's do this. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, May Brewski, for the Rooski Brewski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys, like I said, is is by the Hop City Brewing Company out in Oakville, Ontario, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I am mistaken. Brampton, Ontario. Hop City Brewing Co. A boxcar buck. You got a big. What is that? Like a ram's head? Yeah, a ram's head in front of, well, a, uh, a boxcar. Now, very uh, metallic-y, maroon uh, color uh, can with, um, like, gold or, or brass colored accents, which is pretty cool. 6.7% alcohol by volume, 24 IBUs. It's a box, so yeah, it's going to be higher alcohol, still on the lower end of, uh, of IBUs. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. See what we got, pour it into again, beer 101 pint glass. Beautiful caramel color. Get a bit of head on that. Oh, 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 look at that head. Look at that giant head right there. Nice, clear uh, beer for sure. Nice, you know, uh, lightly, eh, like an egg, eggy, eggshell. I don't know what kind of color you call that. You know, very, very light brown light sand color head and then a beautiful amber caramelly uh, colored beer on the nose on the nose you get a little bit of like a, a toasted bread more of a uh, multi-grain or somewhat brown bready note also kicking in the back are some you know obviously caramels more more, uh, more forward toffee um, per se Not chocolatey notes, no. But some almost like dark fruit-esque notes. Uh, I wouldn't say specifically dark fruits, but very something reminiscent uh, of, a, of a dark fruit. Again, darker breads, maybe maybe a bit of like fruit cake, fruit cakey notes there on the nose. So you know, pretty straightforward, pretty good. Um, but yeah, definitely toffee heavy. And uh, multi-grain to a brown bread and toastiness. Let's dive in. On the sip. Mm. <laughs> yeah, definitely some of those darker, uh, uh, darker fruit notes, fruit cakiness going on, caramels, a little bit of brown sugar going on as well. Um, again, heavy on the toffee, lighter on the caramel, but definitely heavy on the toffee, a big full-bodied, um, uh, 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 you know, lager style, uh, lagered uh, beer kind of thing, which is, which is pretty good if you're looking for something a bit more, uh, a bit more interesting than say a, a, a lager or even, even an amber lager. Um, this is definitely going to be the, 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 one of the bigger boys uh, out of the, out of the three that I just listed. Pretty damn good stuff. Cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, beautifully, beautifully full body. A little sticky, as far as as far as uh, beers go, but definitely, uh, definitely has a lot more, uh, a little bit of not slickness, but yeah, syrupiness, stickiness, as far as lagers go. But I wouldn't say it's uh, it, it's syrup, it's syrupy um, when it comes to I, I guess some other beer styles, uh, like, like like barley wines or. Um, or even some uh, some stouts or Belgian beers. This, but as far as lagers go, definitely a little syrupy, but nothing uh, nothing overly sticky by any means. Over on the can, Hop City Brewing Co. Boxcar Bach. Like I said, 6.7% ABV, 24 IBUs. Description: Is there one? Yes, here it is. Boxcar carrying 100% Canadian malt gives this iconic strong lager the kick of the goat. 
6.7% ABV, 24 IBUs, box style, strong beer. We got malty, caramel, and dried fruits. Did I say dark fruits? I did say dark fruits. But yeah, dried fruits, like, you know, plums, dates, raisins, figs, stuff like that. So, on the money. Hop City Bruco, Brampton, Ontario, and St. John's, New Brunswick. Contains barley and wheat. Return free fun, blah, blah, blah. On the bottom, we do have some sort of, oh, date code, a G30. G30. What is G? That's the seventh month, so that would be July. July 30th, 2020, I'm going to assume. Um, so it is an older beer, 100%. Uh, still, still quite delicious. Don't see anything wrong with it. Effervescence is still there. Smell is still there. Taste still there. All good, nothing out of the ordinary. Now, like I said in the intro, I'm pretty sure it's new uh, to the Hop City lineup because one, it's not on the website, which is hopcity.com. And you go here, you go to the beers, and the ones that are always available, available are Breck and Squirrel, Commuter, Hotbot, and Eighth Sin. Draft only is Polly Wanta Cracker, or no, Polly Wanta. And then seasonal availability, which still shows new, is Big Tiki. I had Big Tiki maybe two to three years ago and boxcar is nowhere to be found it is a very nice looking website very simple but still straightforward and when you click on a specific beer it gives you a description style abv ibu color availability the hops that are used the malts that are used all the awards and a beautiful picture of the uh, of the can itself sadly like i said boxcar not there so we have another Another guilty party of neglecting their website, which is a big shame. But as uh, as um, Flying Monkey showed me in the last, in the previous video, uh, either one or few behind this one, the website can and needs to be updated. So things to note. Over on Untapped, Boxcar has been given a 3.57 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 128 ratings. Another indication is to is saying that this beer is fairly, fairly new. Finally, at your local LCBO, if you want to pick up Boxcar, because I personally think you should. A great style is coming in at $3.20. So, five cents below what it seems to be the average price for, for, for a tall can of craft beer. $3.25 seems to be the, the, the sweet spot, in my opinion. That's not an official number, that's just what I've been seeing. Uh, $3.25 cents under what I think is the average. So, I mean, damn, you're getting a solid beer. A box style isn't really done quite often here in Ontario, then trying to think of other ones, but none really come to mind. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they are a German style. I'm pretty certain on that. Um, but, you know, brain farts and stuff. Having early senior moments. You know I'm very far away from being a senior. And you know what, it's a beautiful style, over 6%, over 6.5% ABV. When you get in that territory, the prices can really increase. So really cool to see that it's at an extremely competitive price for the style, for the ABV, and also I guess for the time that it takes to, to have this go from, you know, mashing in to finished products. Loggers always take a lot longer uh, compared to ale. So 320, good to go. Overall, a fantastic beer. Love the, love the, uh, the darker bready notes. Caramels. Oh, I know they're saying caramel. And I'm thinking more toffee, but I guess that's also the um, the impact of the dried fruit flavors that I'm getting off it. So far, damn. Yeah, go pick it up if you want something interesting. Cheers, everybody, on the final step. Well, let's get ready to and wrap this thing up. Yeah, yeah. If you really like Bach beers, but you want something from Ontario, something a bit more available, because I have seen this out a lot more recently in the past, maybe a month or two, definitely, definitely, definitely check out uh, Boxcar Bach from Hop City. Solid stuff, 6.7% ABV, $3.20. Can't go wrong. You're not going to break the bank on it if it's just a, if it's um, a beer style you want to explore. Really won't have to worry about 
anything like that. So, so yeah, go check it out. Beautiful flavors, beautiful aromas, beautiful look to it. Good stuff. Boxcar Bock from Hop City Brewing Company gets a solid, ooh, gets a solid 8.4 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, I do love the look of the can. I think it's pretty stylish. The colors match beautifully. Good information, ABV, IBU, description of the beer, uh, short, sweet little tasting notes. No ingredients, but that's not a big, big uh, issue at all. But the best part, again, is they clearly labeled canned on date on the bottom. As for the website, nothing there, so I can't really talk about the website. But at the same time, I guess I can, because if I use an example of one of their other beers pages, you get a ton of information, so that's always awesome. They just need to, uh, to update it, and once they do, it uh, definitely score a bunch more marks on that part. So, presentation, because the beer isn't there, gets a solid, gets a solid 7 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, may Bruce, you would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, may Bruce, my colleagues say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Now a ram on a boxcar makes kind of sense because this does hit pretty beautifully, both in flavor intensity but not overbearing. It's a beautiful treat for everyone. Cheers.